Good evening everyone. Tonight we're going to be doing the wet on wet number three and it's going to be a painting and a lot of brown colors and stuff and an evening sunset. So we're going to start out with naming off the colors. We're going to be using a, you should be able to see the palette now. I'll try to get it so you can see the palette. We've got a, a black, which you can use midnight black or ivy black, Van Dyke brown, burnt sienna, lizard crimson, bright red, yellow okra, Indian yellow, sap green, and yellow. Either cad yellow or you can also use a um, lemon yellow. And titanium white. So this is a 16 by 20 canvas. And what we're going to do is we're going to start right in the middle of this canvas. And we're going to use just a little bit of this yellow. And we'll just use a one inch brush for that. And we'll start it right about here. Pop that yellow right in there. And then we'll take a little bit of this Indian yellow. And we're going to just very lightly just go around it. Just like that. We don't want to get too much paint on there because we're going to we want it to be able to blend, blend out. But you still want to get enough in there to be able to see it real good. But you want to get that nice glowing effect from the sunlight. Maybe a little bit more up top here. And then, I'm not even washing my brush. Now we'll go into some crimson. And we'll do the same thing. Very, very lightly. All the way around that crimson. Just like that. Nice and lightly. Of course, I did put the magic white on the canvas first. And then we're going to take a little bit of this burnt sienna. Grab into some of that burnt sienna very lightly come around it that nice burnt sienna color on there remember don't get too much paint because you don't want to get it to be too thick you want this to be nice and light nice and light I get that glow in there. Maybe just a little bit more toward the edges here. And for the final color, we're going to use Van Dyke Brown. So we'll get some Van Dyke Brown, which is a bit darker. And we can start it out on the outer edges a little bit. So it'll come in a little bit lighter. Just like that. Wouldn't hurt to have them, them edges a bit darker. Want it to go out to a little bit of a darker shade. Work it in a little bit. There we go. Come over here. A little bit darker up here yet still. Now what we want to do is clean it, get a clean brush, but you can just use, an, I'm going to use a clean brush that I have here, 
and I'm going to start right in the middle and I'm going to start blending that from the middle out very firmly pushing it out once you go out you don't want to go back in just kind of blend it in get all them colors mixed in together Sometimes it helps to wipe off your brush a little bit. You get these outer colors, you definitely need to have the brush as clean as you can to help. To help it. Keep it going out. Give it that nice glow. And you can lighten that up a little bit too if you really want to. All you gotta do is clean your brush. See what I'm gonna do. Get nice and dry. Back to my other clean this one too while I'm at it. waste time cleaning brushes but we gotta have it clean so we have another brush here I do I should have cleaned it before we even started and get them all nice and dry now what you can do is take a little bit of white just tap some white in there very lightly very lightly just start in the middle and work your way out and then I'll lighten it up as you can see it will just lighten it up and you can do this as many times as you want until you get that nice little glow you want we'll tap it off a little bit grab a little bit more white start a little bit more in the middle and make it work its way out get that nice glow in there done. Brush across very lightly. Very, very lightly. Very lightly. Brush it across. Brush it across. Make sure you don't have any lines showing up in there too much or anything. Brush them right out. Brush them right out. Now, got a little bit more weight I want to put in the middle here. Just a little bit. I want a little bit more there. Now what you want to do here is, if you want to put a sun in there, you can do with that yellow paint, put it on your finger, put it in there, there you go, nice little sun, dab it on, very lightly, blend it in, there you go, just like that, that simple. And wash your brush. Now, what we want to do now is take, and we want to put some, a little bit of a mountain range in here. I probably should put the sun up a little bit higher, but we'll work with it. Yeah, it probably should have been quite a bit higher. You know what? I think we'll just move it. We can do that. We'll just take and we'll rub it out a little bit here, just like that. We want to bring it up a little bit higher. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. We're going to put a little bit more yellow in here. Bring it up a little bit higher, just like that. And we'll take that white in here again, up a little bit higher. We need that space there. More. We need some more space for the mountain. I do have a little bit of a reference photo that I'm using, but I didn't pay attention to it enough. And this is what's happening. <laughs> but that's what painting is all about. Change your mind 
and fix it. Okay, so we'll go back to get this one again. We'll put it up a little bit higher. Right in here. Right in there. Get the sun about the size you want it. Maybe I'll just put just a little bit more on it. Make a little bit more prevalent. And when we soften it like that, a little bit of it's going to disappear. And that's what we want. Okay, now what we'll take and do now is I'm a little bit carried away with my thinner over here. We're going to take the fan brush. And what we'll do is we're going to take some of this Van Dyke Brown right here. I think what we'll do is we'll just take a knife and we'll mix us a, a little bit of a mountain mixture like. That's not a mountain, but it's going to be a dark mixture with some burnt sienna, Van Dyke Brown, some black. Maybe a little more burnt sienna. It's kind of a dark color, so I'm going to probably add a little bit of white to it just to lighten it up just a little bit. I don't want it quite that dark yet. We will pretty soon, but not yet. Okay, so let's take the fan brush, load it up, and we decide where we want our little mountains to be. So why don't we put one, um, let's start about right here. Right over here, maybe something like that. And we'll go right over this way. And we'll just tap it. It'll get lighter as it goes down. Might have come right over here. dark and light colors to work for you. I'm not too far down, but we're going to go down here a little ways. Not like so. Tap, 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 tap. Tap it right in there. Okay. A little bit more this way. So we'll stop right about there. Then we can just lift up a little bit, kind of give you the idea of having some little trees in there, off your mountains there. Just lift up. I didn't even clean my brush. I'm just lifting up a little bit, so you can see the tiny little signs of little tiny trees sticking up, just like that. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Okay, we'll take the same mixture. We're going to add a little bit of black to it. Make it a little bit darker. The way we want to do is make some trees. So let's make some trees here. And we'll just start going like this. They don't have to be um, perfect trees or anything like that. You just want them to be the indication of some trees. Some are taller, some are shorter. Just like that. Coming right down this way. That's why you want to make it darker. You can see them tree trunks. I'm going to carry them right over to here. Still a bit far away, so main thing is you can see the the third trees. And I think we'll bring that kind of down here a little bit. We'll make a little bit of land here, maybe. A 
Okay. Move back down to here. Okay. Now, the wash your brush. dry brush so let's try to do a little bit of a misting here let's go ahead and just mist this up a little bit by pushing the pushing your brush up from an angle just like that let's just kind of mist these little trees in just like that push it and push it push it good in here a little bit too but a little bit late for that but we can hit it a little bit give a little bit of a mystery look anyway okay brush across bring it up a little bit and brush it across nice little misty color 